Aerospace Hardware Rivets The shop head of a rivet is one and one-half times larger than the shank. The bucked end is also one and one-half times the shank diameter. Aluminum 2117-T rivets are heat treated during manufacturing and can be driven when used. They are known as field rivets. Aluminum 2017-T is a refrigerated rivet and must be driven within one hour. The 2024-T is also a refrigerated rivet and must be driven within 10 to 20 minutes after removal from refrigeration. Identification Types of solid shank rivets Universal AN470 or MS20470 Round Flathead Countersunk Brazier Heads of solid shank rivets are marked to identify the specific material of the rivets. The 1100 are very soft material, called plugs. 2017T and 2024T are refrigerated rivets. 5056T is used to rivet magnesium. 1100 plain, 2117T Dimpled, 2017T raised dot, 2017T HD also raised dot, 2024T raised double dash, 5056T raised cross. 7075-T73, three raised dashes, carbon steel, recessed triangle. Corrosion resistant steel, recessed dash, copper, plain, monel, plain, monel nickel copper alloy, recessed double dot. Brass, plain, titanium, recessed large and small dot. Granny Smith, apple. Rivet installation. Use a center punch to mark hole. Then drill a pilot hole. Drill the hole up to size. Countersink for 100 degree rivet. Flat rivet set is used for installing countersunk rivets. Rivet must be flush with material being riveted. Universal rivet. Use slightly greater radius rivet set to install rivet. Spacing is three times rivet diameter. Edge distance is a minimum of two times diameter. Length of rivet protruding is one and one half times diameter. The bucked end is also one and one half times the diameter. When installing a rivet, always use a slightly larger drill than the rivet diameter. A is the edge distance. B represents rivet pitch. C shows transverse pitch. This is the distance between rows. Rivet length should be the grip length plus one and a half times the diameter. Here are the upset dimensions. A rivet is driven one and a half times the diameter wide and 0.5 times the diameter high. It must extend through the grip length plus one and a half times the diameter. Material A plus material B equals the grip length. Rivet removal. First, use a center punch on the rivet to indent the head. Drill the center of the rivet with a drill bit one size bigger. Drill off the rivet head only. It's important to keep the hole the same diameter. Break off the rivet head 
using a drift pin as a pry bar. Knock out the rivet with a pin punch slightly smaller than the rivet diameter using a ball peen hammer. Drill bits to use for rivet installations. See drill sizes. Number 40 drill bit for a 332nd rivet. A number 30 drill bit for a 1 8 inch rivet. A number 20 drill bit is used for a 532nd rivet and a number 10 drill bit is for a 3 16 inch rivet. For example, the number 10 drill bit measures 0.1935 inches. 3 16 inch rivet diameter is 0.1875 inches. Rivet measurement AN 426 AD 4-8 Number 4 is the diameter in 30 seconds. Number 8 is the length in sixteenths. Rivet pitch is the distance between rivets in the same row. Question. What would be the necessary length of the rivet to go through two quarter inch pieces of 2024-T3 aluminum and be ready to drive? The answer. The total thickness is one half inch or 16 30 seconds plus we need the rivet to protrude one and a half times the diameter so we can buck or drive it. Therefore the total length of the rivet must be one eighth inch times one and a half times which would equal three sixteenths. This can be shown as six thirty seconds. 630 seconds plus 1630 seconds, the original half inch, equals 2230 seconds. The rivet, in this case, would be an AN 426 AD 4 11.